These accessories are what they refer to as single downturn fellers. They are available in three different sizes and what they do is turn the hem on your sleeves, on the neckline, and on the bottom of your garment. The first one is a quarter inch. It will turn just a quarter inch of fabric for your hem and it will finish it on the back and it also stitches on the front. Your second one is five eighths of an inch and it will turn five eighths of an inch of fabric and stitch it with the hem. Same, same setting on the machine. This one is a one inch downturn feller and it turns one inch of fabric and it will stitch it again the same type of hem out here. Now the hem width here can vary from where you adjust the hemmer when it's on the machine and we'll do that. But these are called single downturn fellers and they're the actual accessory that will turn the fabric for you so that it holds it in place and you can stitch the hem. It keeps you the same distance from the edge all the way around. All three of the feller accessories are totally adjustable. Sometimes you have to adjust where the bracket screws onto the machine to allow for the little screw that attaches it to have room to be able to screw down into the slot. If you look closely, you'll see that there's little screw holes here. This is the way that it comes to you with the two screws like this. I find that it works better if I move this accessory down so that this part where it attaches is a little farther ahead. See how I've taken the screws out and readjusted them? You could also put this screw in that empty hole right there. But see, I've got more room from here up here. And that makes a difference when you put the screws on like this. So don't be afraid to take these screws out and adjust this bracket in here. That's why they're there. This one is the one inch downturn feller. So it's going to roll our fabric one inch. You slide it in the top, just like that. And then you roll it around underneath. And when you turn it over, you'll see that it has turned it exactly one inch in the back. So when you put it on the machine, you adjust it on the machine using the screws and the little slider right here as to how far or how deep you want the needle to sew into the hem. You can adjust this so that it's deeper or not quite as deep. And the two needles will sew here and it turns the hem for you and you're done. It's consistent. To attach the feller, you'll need the two little white screws and remember, this is, this is adjustable, you have to play with it. My preference is that I like to put the screw holes as close up as I can into this little thread slot groove. Tighten this one down, not real tight, just go down a little bit and then tighten the next one a little bit, get it pushed over as far as you want it. This is adjustable in this area. So you can set this up however you want it to sew. I'm gonna tighten this one down and then tighten this one down. Okay, now to load it, always make a practice sample. When you load it, you just push your fabric in and just walk it right around in that curve underneath. Some people like to press it. Some people like to baste it. I just roll it around in there. Roll it and then I come up here and peek to see if it rolled underneath. See them in there? Okay, now push it all the way up under your needles. You would be doing this in what we call in the round which means you're, you would have the bottom of your t-shirt. You wouldn't have an open end like this. So when we get to the end, I'll talk about how you would end it. But just fold your fabric underneath. See, I'm folding it underneath. You can do it just by hand like that. As you start to sew, the best part about this, besides folding the fabric for you, it will hold it into position so that the needle will sew the same distance from the edge all the way around. Now as you go around, you eventually will come back to the beginning of where you stitched. And your stitches will come up and stop right here at the attachment. There's no way that the sewn closed area can pass through this attachment. When you get to that point, as you're going all the way around, and you can see, okay, I need to get rid of the attachment. You'll be stopped back here with your needles, but it'll still have a spot here where it's not sewn closed. So you'll take out these screws and remove the attachment. And at that point, I like to have my needles down in the fabric so that I don't accidentally pull my uh, hemline out of alignment. And just undo these screws and take the attachment off. And then you just sew from here to match up the stitches down here on this end, and you're finished. Then you go back, if you don't know how to get the fabric out of the machine, we did a video that is called Sewing the Cover Hem in a Circle and tells you how to get it off. So there's another video. Just go all the way through. 
and off of the end. Remember, I get out by rotating my hand wheel backwards and pull out my stitches. When you're finished, on the front, everything will be nice and straight and even. And on the back, you'll have the excess that you need to trim away. When you're finished, you turn it over to the back and you can see the little excess seam allowance that's turned there. I prefer to use the one inch and get that excess seam allowance because it pretty much guarantees that you're gonna catch the hem all the way. If you use the smaller one, you have to be a little more accurate to make sure you catch the hem. So once it's turned, you just take a nice little pair of embroidery scissors and trim off that excess flap right there. When you trim that away, that seam allowance is gone, you have a nice neat little finish and it's caught all the way around.